In today's video, we're talking all about Waypoints, which is DJI's brand new feature for the DJI Mavic 3. And hopefully this will come to other drones like the Mini 3 and the Air 2S in the future. But for the sake of this video, we're working with the Mavic 3. So I'm currently in my controller right now. And what we want to do is we want to go to connection guide and over to camera view. Now, once we're in the camera view, obviously you're not gonna see anything because the drone isn't connected to the remote right now. We are able to set up our waypoints. So what we're gonna do is we'll go over to the waypoints tool and you will see that pop up. And now first things first, I just wanna say that when you create your waypoints, you are able to save them for other flights in the future. And the way that you view your saved waypoints is you go to this little icon right here on the left, and then you will see your saved waypoints. So let's bring up the map view so that we can place our waypoints. So down here, you'll see a little map icon. If we tap that, it will bring a smaller map. And if we tap it again, then it'll bring us into our map view here. So what we wanna do now is we want to switch over to satellite mode. I like to work in satellite mode so that way I can see the land features better. So I'm gonna go over to this little icon right here and just tap satellite. And now that we've done that, I'm going to exit out of that and we can begin to set up our waypoints. We've got this little park over here on the left and I'm gonna place the first waypoint right there in the corner. So the way that you do that is you just tap the screen and it will place the first waypoint. Now, if you notice looking at the waypoint, it shows a little arrow. This will indicate which way the drone will face. I'm gonna go ahead and place four waypoints. So I'm gonna place the second one here. The third one I'll do over this house. The fourth one I'll do at the end of this cul-de-sac here. So those are our four waypoints. And as you can see, as I place them, those arrows changed to face in the direction of the next waypoint. So now I'm gonna go over to our global controls, which is this three dots right here. And this is where you will be able to set your global speed. So this is how fast the drone is going, obviously. So 5.5 miles an hour isn't quite fast enough. So I'm gonna set it to, let's say 14. At the end of flight, you can choose what happened so it can hover, return to home, land, or go back to the start point. So for this, I'm actually gonna hit go back to the start point. Uh, return to home if signal is lost. You can also have it just hover or land, or you can even have it continue, which is pretty interesting. But I'm gonna have it return to home if not. And then the start point, I'm gonna do waypoint one. So, now that we've got all of that set up, we can see here we've got our four waypoints set up. And if I go over here, you can actually see up at the top, it allows you to hit save. So I'm going to save as, I believe that's it right up there where it indicates the four waypoints and you can even rename this. So I've renamed it to test flight. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go back here, back to the global speed and one thing that I noticed is that we didn't really set our altitude. So it says the height is 164 feet. You click on the waypoint, you can then set the individual altitude for each waypoint. So I'm gonna keep it at that 164 feet. And then you can even choose the camera action. So you can have take photo, start recording, uh, stop recording. So I'm gonna do start recording. At waypoint two, we're going to have no camera action since we already started recording at waypoint one, which as you can see, it's indicated with a little red camera icon, so that's nice. Uh, waypoint three, no camera action. We'll keep everything the same. You can even choose for each individual waypoint the follow course. You can have the gimbal tilt, manual zoom, and hover. So you can actually have it hover at the waypoint for a number of seconds before moving on to the next one. And then waypoint four, we're just gonna leave all that the same. And I'm gonna have the camera 
at that point stop recording at waypoint four. We've pretty much set up our settings here, but I do notice that I accidentally just added a fifth waypoint. So let's turn that off and we're good to go. So now that that is all set, I'm gonna save that again and I'm gonna get the aircraft set up and we're gonna begin this flight. Okay, so I've got the drone on the ground and I'm going to go back into our waypoint settings. But first, make sure the home point is set, so that's good. And I'm gonna load what we have here. Perfect, so I've loaded in those four points. And if I hit next, you can see all of our settings have pretty much been saved. And I can hit go. After start, aircraft will automatically take off, perform waypoint flight, and make sure surrounding area is safe. So this is a totally automated process. So once I hit continue, we'll be able to get started with our flight. So it said obstacle detected and waypoint flight is suspended. So I'm gonna go up, hit next, and then we're gonna hit go. And now it's gonna go up to the 164 feet. Now I didn't set the gimbal to anything specific, so I wonder if I adjust it. Like if I point it down. Okay, yeah, so I pointed it down and now it is performing. So it's going to the first waypoint and it's actually, I see the gimbal readjusting to be centered again. Fly cautiously. We're at the second waypoint now, going from the second to the third. It's amazing how fluid it is. And then once it's complete here, we'll be able to go back to the returning point. Awesome, and we made it to the end. So it turned out pretty good. Now it's going to return to the start point that I had put in, which is going to be the corner of that park right there. So now if I open the map here, you can actually see the different waypoints. So I'm gonna fly this again. And as you can see, it's going from waypoint one now to waypoint two, heading in the exact direction that I picked. And as you can see, when it gets to the waypoint, it doesn't just stop, aim toward the third one and go. It like curves a little bit and creates kind of like a smoothness to it, which I really do like a lot. And then once it gets to that fourth waypoint, I've now told it to go back to waypoint one. It stops recording the video and heads back. This feature is definitely really cool and I see it being very useful. And it would be awesome if we could get this on other drones like the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro, but time will tell. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.